This video is going to cover writing linear functions in slope intercept form when you're given a mini word problem. So a little bit about slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is in the form of y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The starting point of a linear function is always your y-intercept, which is your b. And the rate of change is going to be your slope, which is your m. So we're going to take a look at a couple examples here. And we're going to write linear equations in slope intercept form. So first example, Larry has $300. So that's what he's starting with. So this would be our B. He saves $25 per week. So this would be our slope or our rate of change. So our rate of change is $25 per week. So let me uh, write that, that a little bit better. So this would be our M. And then we need a variable. We're going to keep our variable as X. You don't have to. You could, actually, for this one, I'm going to put it as W for week. So I'm going to use W for week. So my equation would be Y equals, and then we want to put it in MX plus B format. So our slope of $25 per week, so 25W, plus the $300 that he currently has. So that would be our equation we can use to solve a problem. So if it said, how many weeks would it take him to get to $500? All I would have to do is solve for W, and I would put my Y would be 500. Or if I want to say, how much money would he have if he, after two weeks, I could put two in for W and said 25 times two is 50, 50 plus 300 would be 350. So after two weeks, he would have $350. Our next example, plane tickets cost $300 each. So tickets is $300 each plus a one-time fee of $25 to select seats. So the rate of change here is going to be $300 per ticket. So my equation, I'm going to start with Y. So Y is going to be their total cost of the ticket plus like the total cost for flying. So it'd be Y equals $300 per ticket. So I'm going to use T for ticket plus a one-time fee of $25. So no matter what, you have to pay $25 for your, to select your seat. So that would be $25. So my equation would be 300T plus 25. Now you'll notice I'm using the same numbers in each equations, but how I write it is slightly different based on the information that are given me. So the first one, the 300, is what you're starting off with. The second one, $25 you have to pay for your seats plus the $300 for the flying per ticket. A couple other examples. It says write a linear equation to determine the US size y's, y if you are given the UK size x. So we need to write the linear equation for this one. So we're going to start with y equals. Now for this one, we don't know what the slope is. So we need to find the slope. In order to find the slope, I'm going to pick two points. It uh, doesn't matter which two points you choose. I'm just going to choose the first two. And these are my, this would be my x1, y1, or x1, y1. Actually, no, this would be x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So I'm going to use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I'm going to do 3.5. Actually, not 3.5. Uh, my y2 is 6. So I have 6 minus 5.5 .5 
divided by my x2, which is 3.5 minus 3. So now I have 0.5 divided by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 is 1. So my slope is 1. So I'm going to have a 1x, or I can just say x. And then the starting point, the starting point would just be, or to find the b, I would have to find the b first. So plus b. So to do that, I'm going to pick a point, an x, y coordinate, to plug in for x, y to find my b. And you can choose any points. I'm going to choose the first point that I have here. So if x is 3, so I'm going to put that off to the side here. So my y is going to be 5.5 .5 equals 1 times 3 plus b. To get b by itself, I'm just going to subtract 3. And b is going to equal 2.5. I come up with my equation, which would be y equals x plus 2.5. So this is really saying the smallest shoe size you can have would be 2.5. Now the second question, we're going to use that equation to solve. Now it says, what would the U.S. shoe size be for a woman who wears a U.K. size of 7.5? Now the US size is your Y. So we need to find out what Y is when X is 7.5, because X is the UK size. So I'm going to have 7.5 plus the 2.5. And that's going to give us Y equaling 2.5 plus 7.5 will give us a size 10. So we would say, the equation or the shoe size, the US size for a woman would be size 10. So that is how you can find or write the slope intercept form of a linear equation problem.